In this segment we're going to look at how to capture whatever is happening on your screen and insert it as a video into your PowerPoint slide. Why would you do this? Well, it gives you the ability to capture anything that you can see on your screen but also lay your voice on top. So say for example you're doing a design course and you want to compare two different websites then you could have them both open and you could narrate which elements are good or not. Or perhaps it's a Zoom meeting and you want to capture the interactions between the various participants. Again, you can, if, as long as you can get it on the screen, you can record it for your PowerPoint. To do this, go to Insert in the menu bar at the top. And from the ribbon that drops down, go to the extreme right-hand side. And you'll see there is an icon that says Insert Screen Recording. Click on there. You'll notice PowerPoint has shrunk, has disappeared, but it has left behind this little panel at the top which gives us our screen recording controls. The first thing it needs to know though is what exactly do you want it to record. So there's like a select area item which is uh, which you should click on and then your cursor turns to a crosshair. So if you can identify which part of the screen you would like it to record. Uh, red ants march across the screen to identify the area that it's recording. Then it also wants to know, do you want to capture audio? So if you want, you can also click on the audio, which means it would capture your voice as you are describing what's happening on the screen. And do you want it to capture the mouse? Is it going to be important uh, where you are clicking? So then you have the option to either put it on uh, or off. And then when you're ready to go, you click on record. There's a little countdown to give you a few moments to prepare and then you're on. It is now recording what you are saying, what you are clicking on. Uh, you might be trying to do your demonstration. You might be using two different sites. Who knows? But when you're ready to turn it off, the trick is the panel disappears into the top of the screen. So you need to click, well, just mouse over, and then the little panels drop down. You've got a stop button or a pause. If you're going to change what's on the screen, maybe pause, move things around, then you can continue. Um, but in my case, I'm going to stop. You'll notice now that we've gone automatically back to PowerPoint. We didn't have to do anything there. And now the video has been loaded onto the screen. Again, we can resize it to whatever we want, wherever it might work. And you'll notice the, the play panel is at the bottom. So you can click on there and away you go.